Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Jazak al-hal for joining me on chapter number nine. Inshallah, we go straight into our chapter nine. And we start off with, in the name of Allah, the most kind, the most merciful. And in Arabic, this means, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. There is an ayah, a verse of the Quran, that this is, this is a verse of the Quran. This is one of the verses of the Quran. You will see in each surah, this verse coming, except for surah number nine, which begins with, which does not begin with Bismillah. So there's only one surah, surah number nine, that does not come with the Basmala, with Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. And that is surah Tawbah. Allah's messenger said that we must start any good work with Bismillah. So when you drink, you have to say Bismillah. Uh, when you uh, you know do anything, say Bismillah. When you start your homework, say Bismillah. When you start your exam, say Bismillah. Allah will increase the good in that work and bless it for you. So you must say Bismillah before making wudu. And of course, you should say Bismillah before you drink water or before you eat. And again, opening a door of the house or upon closing it, before you sleep, before you sit, standing, before putting on clothes or shoes, even before leaving your house, getting in the car or bus, always say Bismillah, you know, Bismillah. We should always say it before we start eating. And if we forget to say it at the beginning, then we must say Bismillah fi awwali wal akhiri. Okay, or you can say awwalihi wa akhiri. Or oh, Bismillah wal al awwal wa akhir. You can say that. But let's do this one. Bismillah fi al awwal. Sorry, Bismillah fi awwalihi wa akhiri. Inshallah, remember, memorize this and start to say this. If you forget to say it at the beginning and you start to eat or drink, then please make sure that you say this because if you don't, the angel will be eating, sorry, the shaitan will be eating with you, not the angels. We wish that they were there, but no, it's the shaitan that will start to eat with you. And, you know, start to teach your younger brothers and sisters and, you know, to tell them to say this and uh, wherever the shaitan has ate, he will throw that up. So he will throw that up and uh, he will not be eating with you. So tell the children and inshallah, they will start to say that. And so please make it a habit. And before you start doing things, say Bismillah. So they have great virtue, which means a great blessing. So this is a short lesson. So let's have a look. What should you say? Why should you, sorry, say Bismillah before you start doing anything? Remember what did we learn? What happens when we say Bismillah? Can you think of other things that you should do, that you should start doing with Bismillah? So what could you do? Uh, what things do you do? And you should start doing those things with the basmala, with saying Bismillah. Remember to say Bismillah before you start. You could got a lovely picture here that you could colour, inshallah. So you can start with saying Bismillah and start to colour that. And it's a really nice picture. So just like for watching this very short lesson. Um, inshallah, we'll see you in the next lesson for our chapter number 10. So thank you and just like a lahal and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.